Hello everyone. We often lose our ServiceNow personal developer instances because they are not permanently assigned to us. They can be taken away at any point of time from ServiceNow or we did not log in into our developer website. So in this video, I will be telling you how to backup your personal developer instances of ServiceNow at no extra cost. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. These are the few reasons we lose our PDIs. The first reason is we forget to log in in our developer website once in every 10 days. So if you are not logging in once in 10 days, they will take away your service now PDI and they send an email also that you haven't been logging in and your personal developer instance will be taken away. We are out of office and don't remember to log in into website. So that's really, really common. And then finally, service not takes away the PDI with or without informing. So that's the most critical point I wanted to tell you because service not doesn't guarantee that they will always be keeping your PDI. Be very careful if you are developing something or even giving the demos. It's really, really highly recommended. You take backup of your work. I have seen people preparing for the demos and at the last moment they lose their PDI because service not took away their PDI because of no reason and they had to cancel their demos. So please take your backups. First of all, ask your organization to assign you a service now instance which doesn't sleep and is assigned to that organization so that it doesn't go away. But if you really want to do it on PDI for your learning or maybe if your organization is saying go ahead and do it in PDI please take backups every day to take the backups. Uh, we have some prerequisites. You should have a personal developer instance with the admin access. You should know what are custom applications on service now. And finally, you should have your GitHub account. So you might have understood by now we will be taking the backup of our code in the GitHub. So please go ahead and create an account in the GitHub and we will be building the custom applications in service now. So we will not be using the global application for that. You can choose update sets and take the backup regularly, but that's a very tedious task and service now recommends doing your customization in your own custom application. So let's go into service now and GitHub and take the backup of our custom application and we'll see it step by step. I'm on the GitHub website. I will go ahead and create a new repository. I had already created an GitHub account. So please do that step by step. And then after that, give the repo name. So for example, I will give the repo name as library underscore project. So you can give any name if you want. And that name should be available. After that, you can give some description. And do you want to make that public so that anyone can see that project of yours on the internet? Or do you want to make it private? I will choose private as of now. After this, add a readme file. So this is the best practice of GitHub to add a readme file. So what that particular repo is doing. So you should add that. And this is by default added. If you check this option, I will go ahead and click on create repository. And you would see the GitHub repo has been created. After this, I will have to create a token. I will click on the profile picture here and scroll down and go to settings. After this, you have to scroll all the way down to the developer settings on the left hand side. And now if you see here on the left hand side, we have personal access tokens and click on tokens classic. And now you have to create a new token for your integration. I will click on generate new token and click on generate new token classic. So this is something new which is coming up fine grain repo scope generate new token. I haven't tried this, but I have tried generate new token classic. Next GitHub will ask you to put a note here, which is kind of mandatory. I can maybe say here library underscore token and you can give some expiration date, maybe 30 days. No expiration or maybe seven days. I will stick with seven days as of now. You can go ahead and make it as no expiration and select the scope. You have to select the repos. You have to give the access of all the repos to this particular token. And after this, it will be able to access any repo on your account. I will scroll down at the bottom and I will say generate token and you would see a new token has been generated and we will be using this. 
just keep the github tab open with the token and we will need some urls from here as well just keep it open and we will now jump to service now and create a studio application or a custom application for that i will click on all i will search for studio and click on studio which is under system applications and now it is asking me to select an existing application or i can go ahead and create my own application i will click on create application to create a new one and i have to give a name i would say library project i can give some description and be sure to select scope from here and not global i will click on create you can add any roles if you want initially i will add itl role i will select classic and i will zoom out a bit and i will click on continue either i can continue here done with tables or i can click on continue in studio and you would see your project has been created which says the library project i will click on this and we will go ahead and create a new table i will click on create application file click on table and click on create and we can name the new table as maybe the books table so that will store list of all the books i can say books and the name would be automatically given and i will leave this checkbox so that the modules in here are created automatically i will save this as soon as it is saved if you know there are these columns created automatically and once they are created automatically they should also be copied to github along with this table and few acls if you see on the left hand side these acls were also created automatically now to integrate this studio application with github we will have to follow the following steps first of all click on source control and link to source control and here you have to give the url which we will get from our github i will go back to the home and click on my library project and here click on code and copy this url which is under https i will copy this paste it here next we have to give the credential so for that we will first have to create our own credentials in service now for that search for credentials in the application navigator and under connections and credentials click on credentials click on new and then click on basic authentication credentials and here we have to give the name username and password i can give the name as library project key in the username you have to give the username of your github instance so that is coming up here hardit singh 88 just copy this that's the username of your original github instance after this you have to copy the token here which we had generated on the github i will paste it here and then you can submit this or save this once this is saved you will have to go back here and search for library project key and then you can select that and after that it's asking you to create your own branch if you want to you can go ahead and maybe add your own branch for example i will add library branch we are not using any mid server or any default email which will be sent to the developers because this is a personal developer instance and you can give your first commit comment also if you want i will link to the source control so that was really quick i'll click on close we will go back to our github instance and i will click on library project again and you would see there are two branches here one is the main branch and the second is the library branch so the main branch is created automatically when you create your repo this we have just created now i will click on this and in this github repo library underscore project you would see some kind of a sys id here just click on this and you would see all of your updates here so your examples basically if you click on dictionary and you would see here the example of your table after this if you click on update you would see all of your acls here all of your modules here applications objects and so on everything you would see here let's make another change on the studio application where we will create another table for example i will click on create and maybe i will name the table as library users i will save this after it is saved we have to push this change also into the github for that i will click on source control again i will click on 
commit changes and here it is asking me which particular change you want to push you can either select all because that will be really great because it will capture all of your changes automatically but if you want to push just certain changes you can select those as well i will click on continue and i have to give some comment and say adding users table i will click on commit files and it should push this change also to the github close this go back to the github and maybe refresh this page i will click on dictionary and you would see here there are now two entries one is for the users table and one is for the books table and there would be more acls added obviously for the next table as well and this is how you back up your studio application into the github now next we would see how can we restore this github repo into a service now instance so i am in the brand new service now instance i will click on all i will search for studio and click on this and now we will be importing that github application i will click on import from source control and here you will again have to give the same url which we had copied from github we will go back to our library project click on code and copy this from here and paste it here in the url and then you will again have to create credentials on this instance i will click on credentials here under connections and credentials i will click on new and here we will select basic auth credentials and maybe give the name say library underscore key the name would be hardit singh 88 so that's the username of my github account and the password would be the same api key i will save this and once this is created i will select credentials from here and select library key and here i have to give the current branch name so that's really important please select the correct branch name which you would have created in the previous studio application i will click on import once it will be completed it will have all the changes or all the examples which we had created in the previous studio application i will click on select application to see my library project here and you can see it's here already i'll click on this and we will see if both of those tables are here or not and we can see the library users and the books are here and all the acls as well and the modules as well so we know we uploaded the studio application correctly on the github and we are able to fetch that as well in a new service now instance and it is working as expected i hope this video was helpful to you please take backup of your service now instances regularly i have learned it the hard way and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and if you have any comments or any videos you want me to create please let me know in the comments thanks for watching the video